Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how to create a really cool uh, navbar hover effect using only HTML and CSS. Uh, so this is the effect, as you can see it's pretty sweet. I think it looks really well. If you're excited to learn how to do this, go ahead and uh, smash that like button. Uh, I have provided a link in the description to the background image so you can code along with me. I recommend you do that as this is the best way to learn web development. If you are new to this channel, uh, on this channel I post new videos every single day that are meant to make you a better web developer and that will allow you to earn more money and live a better life. If that is something you are interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification icon so that you won't miss any of the new videos I upload. And if my videos seem a bit too advanced for you or you don't understand everything, don't worry because when I reach 100 subscribers I'm gonna, put, uh, I'm gonna upload a crash course for HTML and the crash course for CSS in which I will teach you everything you need to know from an absolute beginner level. Right now I have about 19 subscribers so I still have a way to go. So please go ahead and share uh, my video so you can reach that number as quickly as possible. Alright, now that we got that out of the way, let's go straight to the coding. I have an empty folder on my desktop and I opened it uh, in my text editor, which in my case is brackets. I'm gonna go ahead and create the index.html file, the style.css, and the folder for the images. I'm gonna call it img. Uh, I'm gonna go and grab the image and place it there. Remember, we have a link in the description. Okay. Now let's go to the index.html and give it some basic markup. So navbar hover effect for the title. Uh, link. Let's link the style sheet, style.css. And now the markup is real simple. We're going to use a nav tag, put a ul, an li with an a, with an a tag, and copy this uh, four more times. Home. Let's put about services, uh, testimonials, and uh, contact. That's it. Let's open our file in the browser. Okay, it looks absolutely horrible. Let's go to the style.css and make it look nice, shall we? All right, first let's give it some general uh, styling. So, uh, we use the selector select everything in the document. So, remove the margin and padding. So, margin 0, padding 0, box sizing, uh, border box. Uh, let's see, now uh, for the body, uh, let's put a semicolon. Font family, give it uh, Arial and sans serif. Uh, for the background, remember you have a link to the image in the description. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, let's give it some properties. So, first the height of uh, 100 viewport height. Uh, background repeat no repeat background position center and background size cover okay much better now let's make it a little darker by giving it a linear gradient so linear gradient RGBA uh, RGBA Give it a black color, so 0, 0, 0, and an opacity of 0 0.5. And the same for this one, 0, 0, 0, 0 0.5. Let's take a look. Okay, as you can see, it's darker. Now, let's uh, work on the UL. So, uh, nav UL. Give it a position of uh, absolute, so we can center it. Uh, top, 50%, left, 50% uh, transform translate minus 50% minus 50% and that should center it. Let's take a look. Okay, now we'll give it a display of flex. Uh, justify content center and uh, let's remove the bullet points. List style none. As you can see, they're gone. Now let's uh, work on the li. So nav ul li. Give it a margin zero top and bottom, 30 pixels left and right. All right. Now we're gonna style the the actual links. So nav ul li a. And give it a make it uppercase text transform uppercase. Uh, font size make it bigger, 45 pixels. 
a text decoration none to remove the underline a color of white so FFF and uh, transition for the color 0 0.5 seconds okay as you can see it looks better now now let's uh, work on the hover so nav ULLIA semicolon use the pseudo selector hover um, and the color use a e um, e8 five zero seven nine let's take a look okay is this nice pinkish color all right and let's make the these uh, these borders let's work on that so to do that we're gonna select the link nav ul li a and now the pseudo selector before and then give it a position of relative and uh, display block content leave this uh, empty uh, now position it top 0 left 0 a width of 100% um, and the height of 5 pixels in the background uh, we're gonna use this same color so go ahead and copy it alright uh, we're gonna give it a Z index of minus one a margin bottom of 10 pixels I'm gonna use the transform uh, property uh, scale scale X uh, zero so it will be hidden at the start so transform uh, origin we're gonna put the uh, right and the transition for transform 0 0.5 seconds all right uh, nothing uh, changed obviously we need to uh, to work on the hover now so nav uh, ul li a hover before and uh, transform now we're gonna scale x and place it uh, put one and uh, well, let's first take a look as you can see but it uh, kind of starts on right and it ends on right as well and I want it to end on the left so to go to this side so to do that I'm gonna give it a transform origin left and let's see okay uh, is it okay or not oh right it begins on the left and it ends on the right now as you can see yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> okay, kind of got lost there. And now we're going to copy this uh, whole thing and do the and replace it with after. After. And uh, we have to change uh, here. Instead of top, we're going to place bottom. And uh, change the transform origin to left and on the hover uh, put it to right and uh, that should be all we have to do let's save and take a look as you can see it's uh, oh by the way one more thing I have to I forgot to do you see how we have a different margins it's more on the top here and less here that's because uh, when we copied it uh, we need to change this to margin top okay and that should do it as you can see now it works properly so that's about it for this video if you enjoyed it go ahead and smash that thumbs up button um, share this video leave a comment below tell me what you think and uh, yeah that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one bye for now